Hi all folks, so we're gonna go unlock our G2 phone today. Um, one of you guys asked me how do you um, SIM unlock it and I'll show you that it's unlocked by putting in an AT&T on my T-Mobile G2. So first thing, um, make sure you have G2 drivers installed and uh, set your phone to settings, um, applications, development, make sure USB debugging is checked on, connect it to your computer. Let's go to our computer. And I've nicely put all the files that you need in uh, gfree.zip. I'll have links below. If you download it, you'll get the ADB, ADB for Linux and Mac, and also gfree. Um, so, gfree and gfree verify to be that stuff. So go open up a command prompt or shell, uh, whatever computer you're in. And then um, when you unzip it, put the gfree in the root folder of your hard disk. So that's what I did, and let's go here. Let's go to CD backslash G free, or wherever you put it. And uh, what we're gonna do is ADB um, push G free, and uh, ADB dash Mac or ADB dash Linux for those of you on um, other other than Windows systems. Um, so ADB push G free and go data slash um, local slash temp like that and then dot like that oops my device is offline um, do ADB devices oh no never mind oh it says offline I just gotta unplug it and plug it back in and try again there we go. So it worked. And then also do gfree underscore verify. This also let you verify that it's been SIM unlocked. All right. So I copy those two files over and then let's go to um, ADB shell. So I'll type ADB shell to get into shell. And of course you have to have your phone rooted before you can try any of this. Um, and then do CD slash data local slash TMP and do chmod 755 um, G free star. This will set the permissions for all those files we cut, the two files we copied over, um, so it can be executed like that. All right. And let's sim unlock it. So let's type dot slash G free um, minus S, big S. This sim unlocks it. And also do um, minus F. This will set the CID to super um, CID, which basically um, you need with the SIM unlock, so you can use it on any carrier. And press that, and it should be all done now. And next, you can verify that it worked by typing um, stop R I L dash Damon D A M O N. All right, and type dot slash verify uh, g free underscore verify, and uh, if you get CID one 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 eight ones and security flag zero, that's you don't have to worry about that. SIP unlock is zero zero. Um, that means your G two is unlocked for any carrier. Uh, but the, here's the thing. The G2 phone is on T-Mobile, which uses its own uh, frequency for 3G data. So you might get voice everywhere you take your phone, but you might not get data. You might get edge data, um, but we're going to verify it um, that it works by putting on my AT&T card real quick here. So let me go put my card in from AT&T and see what it's, uh, it looks like. And if you guys want 3G all over the world, I suggest getting an AT&T phone because it's on world band 1900 megahertz instead of G2 phone, which is on 1700 megahertz, so it's kind of pointless. Um, but you can still use it as a voice phone or a slow phone. Um, anyway, let me go to my phone and let's boot it up with an AT&T SIM card. All right, folks, so let's take the T-Mobile SIM card out. And I'm going to put my AT&T SIM card from my Atrix 4G. And let me boot it up and see if we get AT&T voice on here. 
I'm pretty sure it won't get data, maybe eight edge data. But let me try that. I'll be back. So it is working. So let me call uh, one of my phones. What is my phone? What are my phones? Oh. Let me just call my main number and see if we get a dial tone. So I should be getting a ring on my one of my other phones. There we go. So my Atrix is calling me. My phone is this one is turned off, that's why. But as you can see the voice works. Oh I'm getting edge too. Check out check it out. So let me go to uh, Google. So actually the internet is usable, but uh, I don't think you get HSDPA. Let me see, let me go outside real quick. I don't think so, but that this is work all working on my AT&T on my G2 phone. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting HSDPA. They're on different bands. Now if T-Mobile merged with AT&T, uh, if that happened, later on there might be uh, it would yeah, it might be possible, but I would think AT&T would just get rid of T-Mobile uh, bands um, over a period of time. But there you go. Now you have an unlocked G2 phone. Um, just remember, T-Mobile is not on e the world band 1700 megahertz instead of 1900 megahertz, so you won't get 3G. But uh, my Edge is working fine. I didn't do anything. I just put my SIM card. Anyway, that's how you unlock your G2 phone. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, g2hacks.com email list um, if you want to stay up on more hacks. And if you want me to review a certain ROM for G2 or um, you know, put it in fire, make a video and upload it to YouTube, don't forget to use our comments line. And thanks y'all for subscribing. You guys all rock.